Hey, so it's been a while since I've been able to make anything. So I thought I would go with a simpler, easy win and make some flannel covers for Cecil's dog beds. So after I double checked the length and the width and the padded edge around there, I went ahead and checked the size of the fabric and found that it was actually a little bit smaller than standard. I have a feeling it shrunk a lot more when I pre-washed it. I decided to go with a really easy pattern of just a 40 inch square that I would essentially use a pillowcase like pattern. By cutting the squares or essentially cutting it to the width and making a square, I'm just gonna take those salvage edges and turn them over. This is gonna make a nice smooth, clean edge. And yeah, I did not bring out the iron for this because I just wanted to do the project and get it done. And salvage edges make it really easy to roll. I have so many colorful clips, so I use them all. On my machine, I'm just using a straight stitch. Nothing fancy here. And again, I'm just looking for a nice clean finish. So realizing that I actually had three dog beds and enough material to make four covers, I decided it would be a lot easier to make this in batch and went ahead and cut out more squares and set this up in a way so I could do each section or each exact same part at the same time. I'm slowly learning that batching my work just makes sense and it's a lot easier than having to reset up for each section. Mmm, coffee. Back at the machine using an easy straight stitch makes this project go nice and quick. I'm a big fan of 
clipping the edges as I go, because then there isn't a whole bunch of threads to deal with later. At the table, I'm matching those long edges and clipping them shut. Now, if you're asking why I'm using clips instead of pins, I just really felt like using clips at that time. I don't know, the pins are literally right behind me, but I was in a clip mood, so clippity clip clip clip. One nice thing about flannel is it has kind of a grabby texture. So once you smooth out the fabric and have it together, it kind of wants to stay together. And it makes doing this part, which kind of long and boring part otherwise, it makes this part a lot faster. Or maybe faster than I'm making it look. On the machine, I continue to use that straight stitch. I don't have to change any settings because I'm going to do this in batches. And because of the way that I'm sewing this, I only have one unfinished edge, which I'll deal with after I've done this batch section. Back at the table, I'm matching up the bottom selvage edge to close up this project. And because it's that flannel, it makes a nice grippy texture and it makes this part really easy. I'm using a straight stitch to close this up. And the other thing to be aware of, I'm leaving a bigger seam allowance. So the selvage edge is on the inside of that seam allowance. There's no weird texture when I turn it right side out.
since I have an edge that is unfinished, I'm just going to put it through my serger to make sure that these covers last as long as possible. Now if I didn't have a serger, I could just zigzag this, but since I have one, I'm going to use it. This is going to help make this particular cover last a lot longer and increase the washability. Turning these right side out, I'm going to go ahead and push those corners out to make it a little bit more smooth. I could clip the edges, but I didn't. Why? I didn't feel like it. And if you don't want to do that either, you don't have to. Normally I take out an iron and press a finished project. But since these are just going to be very big pillowcases over top of those dog beds, I'm not going to worry about that. And they fit perfectly. But the most important question is, what does Cecil think of these new covers over his favorite dog beds? Do you like your new bed? Do you like your new bed? Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and tell me what project you feel like doing.